The rest of the visual narration of the story of Jesus Christ will be related in two versions. The first is the end of the story of Jesus Christ, according to the four Gospels accepted by the Christian world. Then the end of the story of the great prophet of God will be related according to the verses of the Holy Quran, reliable Islamic narrations, and the Gospel of Saint Barnabas. This approach has been employed in order to compare the Christian version with the Islamic version, whilst maintaining a neutral stance in relating the last part of the holy life of the prophet of God, Jesus Christ. Here is the story according to the Christian Gospels. The Passover arrived, and Jesus sat at dinner with his disciples. The son of Mary knew by God's inspiration that this would be the last time he would eat with his apostles. and that he would soon be raised to the kingdom of God. Barnabas, what is it? What are you thinking? Our teacher, He is not the same tonight. Matthew, what is he going to do? Out of great kindness, and his love for his apostles, he rose from dinner, took a towel, brought a basin of water, and began washing his disciples' feet. I have washed you, yet all are not clean. For all the water in the seas will not wash he that believes me not. Do you realize why I did it? I set forth an example for you by my deed. Verily I say, the slave is not superior to his master, nor a prophet to the one who sent him. 
when you discover the truth of these words, then you shall be saved. If you act upon it, now it is time to pray and weep to God. Andrew, recite part of David's psalm in your soft voice. for protection. Never let me be defeated. Because you are righteous, help me and rescue me. Listen to me and save me. Be my secure shelter and a strong fortress to protect me. You're my refuge and defense, my God. Rescue me from wicked men, from the power of cruel and evil men. Lord, I put my hope in you. I have relied on you all my life. You have protected me since the day I was born. I will always praise you. Open the door in the name of the Emperor! The Romans? The Romans? The Romans? What should we do now? Open the door! You deaf, you stupid fool! Everyone's here. Everyone stay where you are. Surrender! Nobody move! What are you waiting for? Arrest him! Quickly, before he escapes again! They're his miserable disciples! Arrest them! Hurry! You have delivered your message. Where is he? He's here, just outside the door. Our guards are watching him. Adrian? Yes. Bring him in here. And take the temple guards to the fortress. They are to stay there until I summon them. Yes, sir. Excellency Priest, you are dismissed. May I suggest you wait a little? That man has a sheep's tongue. He has disgraced everyone. I think I had better stay. Hearing that from leaders like you is surprising. If we were in Rome, we would make a god out of him. Leave he and I alone, Excellency. Why have they sent you here? Untie. Hmm. Why are you not talking? Are you afraid? The Jews, the priests of your religion, have sent you to me to issue your death warrant. Perhaps they think it is easy for me. Although, you are Jesus. Right? Jesus of Nazareth. 
Why do you not disappear from amongst these vultures? I know you can. That day in the temple, during the commotion, you disappeared. Now, a miracle or sorcery, but it left chaos. I don't know what it was. However, it was extraordinary. You are either a sorcerer or the prophet they say you are. The answer to that is something I do not know and frankly I don't want to know. What I do know is that your crime is not what the heads of your nation have accused you of. And that is why, as a citizen of Rome, a soldier and a Roman man, I cannot in good conscience turn you over to them for crucifixion. Have you forgotten how to talk? Or are you trying to test me? Well? I'm not one of your followers. I want you to understand it. Furthermore, I do not want to be the one blamed by your followers as the one who had you killed. Do you know why? Will you not speak? Do you want to be crucified and killed? Do you? Defend yourself! General, allow us to make him talk in the usual way. That would be futile. General, sir, may I ask you, why do you think it would be futile? Why do you think that? Because he appears somehow satisfied with what is happening. I do not understand. It is an enigma, my friend. What do you mean, General? I mean Jesus. He is an enigma. Perhaps that Pharisee and his priest friends can make him talk. No. He'll die, but he'll not talk. By my military honor, I think I know him better than you do. Look at him. Do you know at what he stares? At the end of his life. He will die in the shadow of silence and ambiguity. He may soon become a legend. Lentils. Yes, General. Take him away. And then tell them on my behalf, I found this man had committed no crime that was deserving of death. I won't crucify him. Because he's innocent. Yes, sir. Right away. and shed his filthy blood! Kill the demon! Give us the Galilean sorcerer! He has been found guilty already, so turn him in to us! He has betrayed the holy religion of Moses! His blood must be shed! Kill Jesus! Yes! Kill Jesus! Free Barabbas! Death to Jesus! Kill him! Listen to me. Kill him! This is the voice of the Roman Caesar talking to you. 
in the colony of Palestine. You, the citizens of Jerusalem, have been allowed to ask Rome. Rome awaits your answer. Kill him! What is he? Jesus, do that! He must be killed! Bring water. Water. Free Barabbas. <laughs> and return the other prisoner to the fortress until we execute him. Don't wash your hands, General. We will testify that it was our request. The death of the Nazarene rests on our shoulders. Not just on our shoulders, but on those of our children and our grandchildren, and on generations of our descendants for years to come. You did what you could. I am content that I was not the winner in this dirty, terrible war. I am honored to present to you the valuable gifts from Excellency Caiaphas. <laughs> Is that not enough, my lord? body is black and bruised. Perhaps seeing his broken body, their hearts of stone will soften. When they may change their mind and not shed his blood. Is that possible? Judea, this is the Sanhedrin talking to you. Look well at this miserable crucified soul. This is the end of the one who fought the Jewish priesthood. So without any fear, I am announcing that we have killed Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Mary and the messenger of God. And any other Messiah that dares to oppose the priesthood will suffer the same fate. As of this day, upon the orders of the eminent Caiaphas, anybody in any position who mentions the name of Jesus of Nazareth will be stoned without trial. Hear those words well. 
because there will be no exceptions. This is the Sanhedrin's verdict. Disperse! You all must leave. The end of the story of Jesus of Nazareth, according to Islamic narratives and the Gospel of St. Barnabas. Lord, I know the scribes are spiteful, and the priests are determined to kill me. Save me from their traps, because only thou can save me. Fear not, Jesus because thousands of the cherubim hold your clothes. Be aware that you shall not die until the end of the world. Rise, rise, Jesus, son of the Virgin Mary. The night on which the archangels and I descend onto the people of the earth to carry out the commandments of your God. Tonight, Israfil, Michael, and Israel. And I have descended unto you to announce to you God's commandment. God says, O son of Mary, I shall take you from this world tonight, purify you, and transcend you to my holy heaven. I shall return your enemy's scheme to them. They schemed, and I schemed. But Allah is the best of schemers. Here I am, Gabriel. Here I am, Gabriel.
Where is he then? Thus the wonderful God put forth his scheme. The son of Simon, the Iscariot, was so changed in speech and in face to be like Jesus that we apostles, even the narrator of this event, believe the traitor disciple to be our master. All believed it, except one. Barnabas, wake up! Wake up! Barnabas, wake up! Peter, get up! Wake up, everyone! The master is here! Open the door! The Romans! The Romans! Break down the door. Sorcerer. A cursed sorcerer deserves death! <laughs> First of all, he is a follower of Ishmael's children. Great ancestor of the Arab, the son of a maidservant. It seems that everyone has gone crazy. Why did they arrest me? What has happened to me? Do they really think I'm that carpenter boy? Jesus? What trick have you played on me? Sorcerer of Nazareth! Damn the day I met you! When did this happen to me? Why do I look like Jesus? Who can break Jesus' spell? After this, anyone who disbelieves will be punished, with a punishment that I will not inflict on anyone else in the world. Don't fuck me! I'm not Jesus! Why don't you believe me? My God, I'm not Jesus! Have mercy! Please don't! Hey, you there. Are you Simon the Fisherman? What do you want? 
It's the beginning of your master's feast. Where are you going so hastily? I've seen you with him many times. Have you forgotten what the master said? He said those who disbelieve this miracle would be punished severely. Stop it, Peter. That's enough! Didn't you hear? His evidence said that's enough! Take him to General Pilot! <laughs> Peter, you haven't chosen a very good night for strolling around the temple, have you? <laughs> what do you want? Nothing. What's the matter? Do you see a genie? Worse than that. Watch your tongue, Simon the Fisherman. You don't want to say you're not his disciple anymore. I tell you, I am still his loyal disciple. But he is not my master. Jesus is not your master. I didn't expect that from you. <laughs> what a stupid disciple. Why did the head see the nation, and the priesthood hand you over to me? Why do you think they did? Tell me the truth, so that I may understand and act in a just manner. I am the only person in this land who can free you, or alternatively, have you killed. Believe me. Because your excellency may have been deceived as well. Just like the priests and the Pharisees who have been deceived. Deceived? Deception is the custom of the Hebrews. Didn't you know I'm not a Jew? If you order my death, you will have done a great injustice because I'm Judas. <laughs> I'm Judas Iscariot. Jesus of Nazareth turned me into this with his magic. Please, my lord, please believe me. He cast a spell on me, my lord, most be. What's he say? The fool is talking nonsense, General. By my military honor. I don't know what to believe. Do I trust my eyes that tell me he is Jesus? Or my intuition that tells me in no way does he resemble the Nazarene? Did you not hear him call me Lord? It's mystifying. So, what should we do? The Jews are determined to see him dead. But what he says is the truth. Whoever he is, he is not Jesus. I have no doubt. Nevertheless, the important question is, where is
Excellency, listen to me. Why don't you understand? The Nazarene has cast a spell on both you and me. I'm not Jesus. I just look like him. I'm Judas. <laughs> See what a commotion he's caused. Who do you think will be saved? Jesus or Barabbas? It seems you still do not understand these people. I promise you this, they will condemn Jesus today, and then they will take him to Golgotha. Even after all this time, General, on many occasions, I do not understand you. Nor I, Adrian. Nevertheless, my young friend, we must continue onwards into this last battle. People of Jerusalem, this is Rome talking to you. Your high priests and your leaders have called on me to be the judge in this situation. We accepted your request. Our verdict is... Kill Jesus! Kill Jesus! Kill Jesus! Kill Jesus! Free Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Kill Jesus! Jesus. Death Kill to him. Jesus! Kill him! Kill Barabbas! Kill him! Kill, 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 Kill Jesus! Instead of deserving death, this man is deserving of sympathy. He says he is not Jesus but that he is Judas, the one who led the troops to arrest Jesus. And he says that it was Jesus of Galilee who turned him into this with his sorcery. Now, if he is Jesus and he denies it, then clearly he has lost his mind. So in that case, we cannot kill a lunatic, because that is unjust. He is Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. I know him well. If he wasn't guilty, we would not have handed him over to you. He wants to escape from us using this trick. And if he does escape, the confusion he will cause will be far worse than the first time. He thinks that we will be fooled by this trick. He is wicked. He must be put to death. He must be put to death! Kill him! Kill him! Whether he is guilty or not, he must be put to death, so kill him. We will take the blame. Us and our children. Put him to death. Kill him! Kill him! He must Jesus. die! Kill him now! Kill him! 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 He's an evil sorcerer! He must be crucified! Kill the sorcerer! Crucify him! Crucify him! Kill him! We want the freedom of Barabbas, Pilate! Barabbas is a criminal. Barabbas is a murderer. Long live Barabbas, the brave defender of Judea! Barabbas! Jesus has not killed anyone. 
How is it you do not judge fairly? We want Barabbas! We want Barabbas! We want Barabbas! Let Barabbas free! We want Barabbas! Let Barabbas free! We want Barabbas! He is from Galilee, and Herod is the king of Galilee. Therefore, I take no responsibility for this dispute. You may now take him away. Allah set a seal upon the heart of the children of Israel for their disbelief and for their malicious false charge against Mary. And for their proud declaration saying, we slew the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, Allah's messenger. They slew him not, nor crucified him, but it appeared so unto them. God, why have I been deserted? But Allah took him up unto himself, There is not one of the people of the scripture who believed in him before his death. And on the day of resurrection, he will be a witness against them. Allah is ever mighty and wise. The Holy Quran, chapter 4, verses 156 to 159.